This video is to help you revise some of the details that are often overlooked in the biomolecules and food chapter. Very often you encounter this at the beginning of your course in fifth year and you're often overwhelmed with entering senior cycle and learning a new subject possibly for the first time that you often overlook some of the questions which you think are easy. So let's go over some of those now. So let's begin with what is the actual purpose of food? What is the function of food? Why do organisms need it? Food is essential. As food is taken in, it's broken down. And when it's broken down, it provides the building blocks, the basic materials needed to repair damaged cells and tissues and to grow new cells and new tissues. So I'm sure you can see the connection with continuity of life. If there are no raw materials taken in, well, then you can't build new cells. Another function of food is for energy. Food is broken down and energy is released from that food. So you know that whenever we consider energy in biology, it's ATP. It's important to consider as well that when food is broken down, some of those materials, those raw materials, are used to build essential chemicals, which will play a role in all the chemical reactions taking place in our cells, enzymes being one important group. So you can see the connection between food and metabolism, all of those chemical reactions that take place inside a living organism. So the function of food, therefore, is to provide the materials needed for the growth of new cells and tissues and to repair those that are damaged. It's also needed for energy and it's also needed to build essential chemicals that are needed or necessary for our metabolic reactions and those of all living organisms. The importance of water is so worth revising. Let's begin by stating that water is the universal solvent. Most substances dissolve in water and living things or organisms are alive because they have all of these biochemical reactions taking place in their cells. These reactions need to take place dissolved in water or in aqueous solution. So water is essential. Another point is that water actually plays an active role in certain chemical reactions. So in condensation reactions, Water plays an active role in transporting substances into and out of cells. Many substances are transported around organisms dissolved in water. And finally, water is so important because cell cytoplasm, that liquid found inside all cells, is mostly made of water. So to summarise, water is the universal solvent. It's very important in chemical reactions within organisms. It's important for transporting substances. And it's also very important because it's a component of cell cytoplasm. So I hope the video helped. Remember, it's only a supplementary resource. You have to use your textbook, you have to use your syllabus, you have to do past papers, and most importantly, you have to listen to your teacher's guidance. The very best of luck with all of your revision. This video was made using icons from the Noun Project. I'm a Noun Pro member, but I still wish to credit all of the artists as listed here.